There have been several theories concerning the lost city of Atlantis. Some believe the city suddenly sunk into the ocean. Others posit that the city was swallowed by the Bermuda Triangle. Many people even believe that the city of Atlantis is the present-day Antarctica. There are many other theories centered on the city of Atlantis. Here are six of the most notable theories about the lost city of Atlantis, one of the most enduring legends in history. Kindly subscribe and enable notification by clicking the bell so that you will not miss any further update on this channel. Like and share this video if you enjoy it. Without wasting further time, let's get started. Homeric Origins Atlantis was a mid-Atlantic continent that suddenly sunk into the ocean. The idea that Atlantis was an actual historical place and not just a legend invented by Plato did not surface until the late 19th century. In his 1882 book entitled Atlantis, the Antediluvian World, the writer Ignatius Donnelly argued the accomplishment of the ancient world such as mythology, language and agriculture must have been handed down by an earlier advanced civilization. As the ancient were sophisticated enough to develop these advances on their own. Assuming the Atlantic Ocean was only a few hundred feet deep, Donnelly described a continent flooded by shifting ocean waters that sank into the exact location Plato said it did. In the Atlantic Ocean, just outside the Pillars of Hercules, the two rocks that marked the entrance to the Straits of Gibraltar. Long after modern oceanography and a greater understanding of plate tectonic poked holes in his shifting water thesis, some continue to cling to Donnelly's theory, mostly due to its adherence to Plato's placement of Atlantis in the mid-Atlantic. Atlantis was swallowed up by the Bermuda Triangle. Inspired by Donnelly, many later writers expanded on his theory and added their own speculation as to where Atlantis may have been. One of these writers was Charles Bellitz, grandson of the founder of the well-known language schools and author of many books on paranormal phenomena. In the 1970s, Bellitz claimed Atlantis was a real continent located off the Bahamas that had fallen victims to the notorious Bermuda Triangle, a region of the Atlantic where a number of ships had supposedly disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Supporters of this theory point to the discovery of what looks like man-made walls and streets found off the coast of Bimini. Although scientists have evaluated these structures and found them to be natural beach rock formations. 3. Atlantis was Antarctica Another theory that Atlantis was actually a much more temperate version of what is now Antarctica is based on the work of Charles Hopgood, whose 1958 book entitled Earth's Shifting Crust featured a foreword by Albert Einstein. According to Hopgood, around 12,000 years ago, the Earth's crust shifted displacing the continent that became Antarctica from a location much further north than it is today. This more temperate continent was home to an advanced civilization but the sudden shift to its current frigid location doomed the civilization's inhabitants. The Atlanteans and their magnificent city was buried under layers of ice. Hopgood's theory surfaced before the scientific world gained a full understanding of plate tectonic, which largely relegated his shifting crust idea to the fringes of Atlantean beliefs. 4. The story of Atlantis was a mythical retelling of the Black Sea flood. This theory presumes Atlantis itself was fictional, but the story of its demise was inspired by an actual historical event the breaching of the Bosporus by the Mediterranean Sea and subsequent flooding of the Black Sea around 5600 BC. At the time, the Black Sea was a freshwater lake half its current size. 
the flooding inundated civilizations known to flourish along its shore with hundreds of feet of seawater in a short period of time, perhaps less than a year. An inhabitant of the region scattered, they spread terms of the deluge and may have led thousands of years later to Plato's account of Atlantis. 5. Atlantis is the story of the Minoan civilization which flourished in the Greek islands circa 2500 to 1600 BC. One of the most recent Atlantean theories concerns the civilization that flourished on the Greek islands of Crete and Terra, now Santorini. More than 4,000 years ago, the Minoans, named for the legendary King Minos, believed to be Europe's first great civilization, the Minoans built splendid palaces, constructed paved roads, and were the first Europeans to use a written language known as Linear A. At the height of their power, however, the Minoans suddenly disappeared from history, an enduring mystery that has further believed in the link between this great domed civilization and Plato's Atlantis. Historians believe around 1600 BC, a massive earthquake shook the volcanic island of Terra, triggering an eruption that spewed 10 million tons of rock, ash and gas into the atmosphere. Tsunami that followed the eruption were large enough to wipe out minor cities throughout the region. A devastation that may have made the Minoans vulnerable to invaders from the Greek mainlands. 6. Atlantis didn't exist at all. Plato invented it. Most historians and scientists throughout history have come to the conclusion that Plato's account of the lost kingdom of Atlantis was fictional. According to these arguments, the Greek philosopher invented Atlantis as his vision of an ideal civilization and intended the story of its demise to be a cautionary tale of the gods punishing human hubris. No written records of Atlantis exist outside of Plato's dialogues, including in any of the numerous other texts that survive from ancient Greeks. Furthermore, despite modern advances in oceanography and ocean floor mapping, no traces of such a sunken civilization have ever been found. Which of the theories of the lost civilizations do you believe? Or do you have any other theory concerning the lost city that you think is superior to the ones outlined here? Kindly drop it in comment so that we can learn from you. If you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe, like and share with your friends and family members on social media and elsewhere. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Peace. Homeric Origins